Big news this morning coming out of Carolina. Sorry for anybody that's listening via headphone, but I hope you heard me loud and clear. The Panthers uh, are going to be starting quarterback Baker Mayfield, former Cleveland Brown, former number one overall pick. Wow. How the mighty have fallen. It, it is crazy just Baker Mayfield, his story, and just how quickly things can change in the NFL. Because it was just a couple years ago, it's like, oh, Baker Mayfield, number one overall pick. He broke the, the rookie touchdown record and whatnot. Oh, man. Then the Browns, they really start building around them, and they start adding all these nice pieces here and there. And it just, it just didn't work out. But then a couple years ago, too, Baker Mayfield, the, the, the Browns, they get to the playoffs. Baker Mayfield gives them, they get a win in the playoffs. They beat up on those Pittsburgh Steelers. But everything just, it fell apart so fast and in such an ugly, ugly way. Uh, but now he's back as a star. He was a starter before, then then got unstarted. <laughs> And then, uh, but now with P.J. Walker, who suffered, unfortunately, a high ankle sprain uh, at Bank of America Stadium. And literally every single Panthers quarterback this year has suffered a high ankle sprain at Bank of America Stadium. Thank goodness this game is in Baltimore. Thank goodness. Because that when I saw that stat. That all those quarterbacks suffered high ankle sprains there? I was thinking, oh, no. But then I checked the schedule. Oh, the games at MNT Bank. Woo. That was a big sigh of relief. So, Baker Mayfield. Um, Baker Mayfield versus Lamar Jackson. He is. Lamar Jackson is 4 and 1 versus Baker Mayfield. And of course, we know it's a team game. So, it's not just the quarterback versus the quarterback, but it's more fun to say it that way. Uh, that one win came in 2019. When the Browns, they came into M&T Bank Stadium and literally ran away with the game. Ran away with it. Remember seeing Nick Chubb just <laughs> go, go to the house and say, oh, man, that was a tough game. Um, but Baker Mayfield has not really fared well uh, against the Lamar Jackson-led Ravens. Even in a game where Lamar Jackson threw one, two, three, four interceptions. Four, in four interceptions. You would think, all right. We, any quarterback that throws four interceptions, you would definitely think, all right, hey, <laughs> we whooped that team. No, couldn't get it done. Um, so we'll see how Baker Mayfield is in this game for those Carolina Panthers. And I mean, while we're here, we might as well talk about this game because um, the Ravens are Ravens have a lot of advantage in this game. Um, they're at home, so that's one. Um, they obviously have the better team that's that's doing better and whatnot. Still cannot sleep on the Panthers at all. Cannot do it. Um, but Ravens are coming off of a bye week. And even before that, right, Ravens have been getting a lot of rest over these past couple of weeks. Uh, because a couple of weeks ago when they played the Bucks, that was on Thursday night football. So they didn't have a game until the following Monday. So they went through Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then had another week, and then they played the Saints on Monday Night Football. So they had a long break then, and then after the Saints game, they had their bye week. So Ravens are a very well-rested team right now uh, going into this game. Um, the Panthers. Uh, we know these Panthers um, stopping their run game. Well, obviously, stopping Baker Mayfield. That's first and foremost, him being the quarterback. You want him to turn that ball over. Um, so far, he's thrown, what, six, six interceptions? And I mean, no, four touchdowns. Ah! Six touchdowns to four interceptions. Sorry, it's still early in the morning. My brain, it ain't functioning all the way right now. But he's thrown six touchdowns, four interceptions. Um, that pass defense is going to have to be on point. Somebody that <laughs> had a lot of Ravens fans that hope that we would get. Uh, we'll get to see him up close and personal in DJ Moore. So, Marlon Humphrey. Marcus Peters, they they definitely going to have uh, their work cut out for them for sure. Um, but I, I expect them to do well. Uh, Ravens, their, their pass defense, they, they've they been doing pretty good. And as the season has gone along, they have just continued to click more and more and more. Um, Dante Foreman, uh, their running back. I, I think that's really where this game starts at for me. Uh, for Panthers offense and Ravens defense, it, it, it all starts with him. 
Um, you hear it all the time. You, you want to make teams one dimensional. You want to take away their strength. You want to take away their power. He is their power. He would be their power. Um, and you don't want to let him get going. Ravens don't want to let him get going because if the Panthers can run the ball on the Ravens, that opens up everything else for them. It makes everything else that much easier for him. It gives him that many more options on offense. And your job as a defense, especially that high-powered defense with all those quality players you got, your job is to take everything away from them. Uh, so it starts with the run game. Um, so hopefully Ravens come out ready. And again, with them being so well-rested, hopefully they're not well-rusty. But hopefully that all that rest that they've gotten over these past couple of weeks gives them more strength, more power, and that tackling is on point. Now... I understand. I get it if in the first like the first quarter we get a couple missed tackles here. I mean, hopefully not, but I'll understand if we get a couple missed tackles here and it's like, man, we ain't tackled nobody in a long time. I'll get it, but it won't be no excuse. Cause you that's something you, you gotta pick it up like that and get that thing right. Um so yeah, Ravens defense. I expect them to make some plays, man. I expect them to uh to force some turnovers. You know, Baker Mayfield, man, he's um he he's in a dangerous position right now to where um the Panthers they I feel like with their quarterback situation they just they just throwing something up in the air and hoping that it sticks really um it hasn't worked out with Baker Mayfield it hasn't worked out with Sam Donald who they they traded for both of them PJ Walker he got hurt um what what is it Matt Corral I think he's hurt he's out for the year um it's it's just been rough uh, for their quarterback situation um, So after this year I mean Sam Donald and Blake Baker Mayfield They could both end up being free agents They really could man So we'll see what happens uh, with that But yeah Ravens gotta uh, As far as defense That's what they gotta do Stop that run game man Don't let them run the ball And force Baker Mayfield Into making the Baker Mayfield throws That we know he can make Resulting in interceptions Force him to force him to turn. If, if they can just get him passing, like, and I'm not saying he's a bad passer, but the Ravens have a good pass rush right now, which is so weird to say. It's so crazy to say that, man. But since Ravens have a good pass rush, they turn these Panthers into a strictly passing team. They take away the run game. That's advantage Ravens all day, man. That is advantage Ravens all day. Um, so it's going to be exciting to see how that goes. Now, as far as on the flip side, uh, on offense, the, simple. Don't turn the ball over. Don't turn the ball over and score. Run it up. Run it up. Um, Panthers, of course, they 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 going to bring it. They're going to bring it, but it's important that the Ravens have a counter. Um, Gus Edwards, I'm not sure if he's going to play in this game or not. I would expect him to, but we'll see. Mark Andrews, he should be back, so the Ravens should be getting some more firepower. But something that I want to see from these Baltimore Ravens, uh, really starting this week, um, a couple different things. Let's continue to spread that ball around. Let's continue to, to, to give all these different people opportunities um, because when you spread that ball around, then, hey, it, it makes everybody a weapon. And the, the Panthers or whatever team you're going up against, they can't just focus on one person and be like, all right, we're going to take them out and then we'll be set. Because that's, that's what it's been with the Ravens. Hey, before it used to be, you take Mark Andrews out, you take Hollywood out, hey, you're straight. This year, hey, you take Mark Andrews out, Make them find somebody else. Who else is it going to be? Um, but it's important that even with Mark Andrews expected to come back, Ravens still spread that thing out. And it's, it's important that they, they scheme guys too. Scheme guys open. Scheme opportunities for guys. So they can take advantage. Play players to their strengths. Get them involved and play them to their strengths. I would hope. I mean, I hoped last week that it would be, but it wasn't. Because, I mean, it seems to happen every other week with Devin DuVernay. One week he's involved, he goes crazy. Next week they don't involve him, he's quiet. Following week he's involved, he goes crazy. Next week they don't involve him, he's quiet. So this week the Ravens are set up to use Devin DuVernay a lot and for him to go crazy. So I expect to see DuVernay doing his thing in this game. Uh, Kenyon Drake. Again, we mentioned Gus Edwards earlier, but Kenyon Drake. He handled things last week uh, in the run get well, really it'll be two weeks ago, uh, in the run game, which was a beautiful sight to see. Uh, so shout out to him. Um, so that that should be interesting. Of course, Justice Hill as well. He's an option too. Um, so we want to see Ravens continue to run that ball. Um, but really quick, back to the passing game. 
uh, Lamar in this game. Hit those layups, man. Hit those layups. Lamar, he, he missed some opportunities to where uh, the, the, the receiver would be open, but he just missed him. He just missed him. You got to hit those. Got to hit those because when you miss on those, those passes like that, and we've also seen Lamar on the flip side too. We've seen him make some crazy, crazy, crazy completions. Like he does it all the time, man. Um, but for the, for the layups, you, you, you got to hit those, man, because when you miss those, you let the other team hang around. You give them confidence. You give them an opportunity to be like, oh, okay, no, we, we, we can't hang with these Baltimore Ravens. And, of course, it is any given Sunday, but you don't want to give the other team any confidence, like, whatsoever. You don't. Like, these, these Panthers, they, they low right now, and you got to keep them down, man, straight up. Um, but it's important that, yeah, he, he hit on those opportunities, man, because uh, those are big plays. There's potential touchdowns and whatnot. And, again, um, same thing we've been saying, too, it's it, – with the passing game, it's, it's tough because the volume is low, so the opportunities are far and few. So it, it almost has to be perfect uh, in order for it to work. So gift and a curse, uh, we talk about that another time. But, yeah, that's uh, as far as Ravens' pass game. Their offensive line, hey, continue gelling, continue clicking, continue working together. Continue with your flow. The, the Ravens offensive line been getting into better rhythm, better flow as the season has gone on. Uh, thank you, Ronnie Stanley, for being back. Ravens, uh, they, they, they did a good job. Got to get him credit, man. They did a good job with Ronnie Stanley with the way that they worked him back in the lineup. Um, I was hoping, I did not expect because I didn't think it would be fair to expect Ronnie Stanley to be back to himself. Ronnie Stanley has looked really good, though. He has looked really good, and he has made a huge difference on his offensive line. Ben Powers. The unsung hero. Wow. Ben Powers. I didn't even think he was going to make the team. But Ben Powers has been doing his thing. You don't hear his name called at all, and that's a beautiful thing. Linderbaum um, ended up being a great pick uh, for the Ravens. Uh, my guy JT, he's, he made a really good point uh, a while back. He's like, well, if you pick, and now I ain't saying that I wouldn't want the Ravens to, to do it because y'all know how I feel about the receivers. But he was like, with a, with a receiver, you can take a really good receiver out the game, uh, but you can't take a really good offensive lineman out the game. I was like, oh, okay, that's a nice, that's a nice one. Ravens still need to do more as a receiver, this, but that's a that's true, that's true. Good point. Um, but anyway, so Linda Baum has been doing his thing. Zaitla, of course, Morgan Moses, Morgan Moses, he's been good overall. He done had some hiccups here and there, whatnot. But Morgan Moses been good overall. So the offensive line, keep doing your thing. But Ravens, put up points, man. Straight up. And I know that's so, like, simple to say, but Ravens got to put up points because when you put up points and you got the defense that you do, that just makes – it should make their job easier. It should make your job easier. Put up points. And also, take your points. Take them. Please. Take the points. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, but, yeah, man, this is uh, – it's an opportunity for the Ravens to go four games in a row. It was crazy a couple weeks ago when we were talking about the Ravens possibly winning two games in a row because they hadn't done that all year. Then they did it. Then it was crazy thinking about the possibility that the Ravens winning three games in a row because that's something that they hadn't done all year, obviously, because they hadn't won two games in a year. So you, I mean, two games in a row. So you can't win three games in a row if you ain't won two games in a row. So they did that. So now they have an opportunity to win four games in a row. Wow. Will they do it? I expect them to. I hope they do. They have everything that they need in order to do it, to make it happen. So let's see how they execute. Let's see how they game plan. Let's see uh, the decisions that they make. Hopefully they're good decisions, wise decisions, smart decisions uh, that will benefit this football team uh, against these Carolina Panthers. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We out.